Hey, what's going on everybody? This is John Jake Gaming on the mic here coming at you with a brand new episode of the South Louisiana Dynasty here on Maximum Football 2020. We are here with our very first game of this series and we are having a home game against a Power 5 squad. We are taking on the Upper Florida Warriors from the Atlantic Shore Conference, who's also playing their very first game of the season. And they're heavy favorites in this one. 83 overall, 85 offense, and an 82 defense. We're a 71 overall team with a 73 offense and a 69, nice, rated defense. So, that being said, it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out. Should be a good one regardless. So, if you're excited about this episode, man, make sure you smash that like button and also... Hit subscribe if you happen to be brand new as well. It always takes a few seconds. You, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe if you're not feeling me later. But that being said, let's go ahead and get this first maximum football game underway. Let's see if we can come out on top. All right, so we're actually off to a pretty solid start here already. As we do go ahead, we force the upper Florida Warriors to go. A very uneventful free and out, so we get the ball to start things off. Got some good field position to work with, so going to be trying to lean on Derek Niang here to start this game as he does end up picking up the first down for us. Trying to roll things out here to the outside. But the big thing for us, though, is can we pass the football? Passing in this game, you're going to see right here, it's certainly a lot different. I tried to lead my receiver. We're almost intercepted. Glad it wasn't picked off, man, but man, we are, you know, we, it's going to take a little bit for us to get used to some of these uh, controls, you know, some of these uh, passing directions as we try to go deep. We had one-on-one -on -one down the sideline. It just didn't work out for us. That's also going to be incomplete, and now we're not very comfortable with passing to begin with, but it's third and ten, so we need to pass this football. Hopefully, we can find somebody to get open here as Armstrong. We look over the middle. We had the completion, but we also... Fumble the football, so we do end up giving the ball back to the Upper Florida Warriors, man. So our first drive ever in this series ends in a turnover. We give Upper Florida some great field position, too. They're basically on our side of the field, starting off on the 50-yard line. And look at that run by Fulp. Going to pick up a gain of six. So a third and short coming up for us here, man. Is Zach Volt, the sophomore quarterback. Gonna line things up here under center as Raul. We're trying to, I'm trying to play uh, two guys at once. You know, had to make sure the deeper man, you know, didn't get too open. But we do end up giving up a first down to Lariel. Is now we got a second and six now coming up. We get some good pass rush here as we force the incompletion. Nice defense from the fellas. We got another third down coming up here, man. Third and six again. Let's try to get these guys off the field. But we give up yet another first down. And Kaisley, Josh Kaisley, the senior tight end for Upper Florida, is going to go ahead and keep his drive going as we're trying you know, keep him in front of us. You know, if Upper Florida is a better team, man. But we need this home crowd to step up for us here. Third and long. This is like the third third down that we've had to deal with thus far. As Falp dropping back. I was there, but I jumped too early. That jump going to cost us, and that's another first down for this team. And they, we had them on three separate third down conversions. And we are going to potentially give up a touchdown here. Zach Volp was actually really close to getting it into that end zone, man. But we do force him to a fourth and goal this time around. But they're going to actually go for it. But our defense stands up. Let's go, baby. Turnover on downs. You love to see it. Don't like that we're in the shadow of our own goal line. Going to try to run it out of the end zone. But we take a big loss. And we, we don't give up a touchdown. But we do end up giving up a safety. And they still get this football back anyway. So they have the football again to start things out here. And once again... You know, except this time around, we're down two to nothing. Fulp gonna actually scramble out of the pocket. We had some good pressure, but just didn't do a good enough job of you know maintaining a contain on that one. So an easy first down for them. 
as they throw over the middle. Worry L. He's got some space to work with. We're not going to catch him either. And Upper Florida going to go ahead and make it a 9 nothing lead here. So now we're in a little bit of a rough spot. And the reason why I say we're in a little bit of a rough spot is until we get better with passing the football, we're going to be a run-heavy squad. And being down by multiple possessions, that's certainly not going to help out the cause whatsoever. But this might will. Can we get away from a defender? No! Oh, we broke that off. We are going to go ahead and take that to the crib. But, you know, we got some good field position here. First and ten coming up here is... You know, liking what I'm seeing here, they're really trying to load the box here. We have to try to pass the football here as we have some time in the pocket trying to go one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. And it's Davey Smalls coming down and make the catch, baby. Let's go. First completion in this series is now we got a second and seven coming up here. We're going to get it off to Davey Smalls again who breaks some tackles. And look at that, baby. We're in the end zone. First touchdown of the series. Let's go, baby. So that's how this first quarter is going to end. And we're hanging tough here. We're only down 9-7. to seven. Let's figure things out on offense. So let's go, man. Second quarter underway. Davey Smalls getting the first touchdown of this series for us. We're still only down by a couple of points right now. But Larry L., I'll tell you what. That guy right there is giving us some trouble early. He gets a big catch, you know, right down the center of the field. And on the very next play, Larry L. might trying to get us again. Make some guys miss. Finally able to bring him down. But I'll tell you what, our defense certainly having a really tough time, you know, just, you know, keeping them nice and covered up. And the Upper Florida Warriors, man, they keep to get this thing going as looks like we have our first injury as well. Ryan Brown going to be shaken up a little bit there. But thankfully, you know, for the Upper Warriors squad, there, he's only going to be gone for like a few plays. So we'll probably see him later on this drive. Unless we can get him off this field here on this third and one. And I read it. I read the pitch. I was there. I just could not get in front of it in time. That hurts my soul. So now another first and 10 coming up here as Upper Florida looks to try to punch it in the end zone once again. And they're drawing ever closer. Second and two and they're on the four yard line. As Folt will drop back. Going to try to throw a slant over the middle and look who it is. Larry L with his third catch of his drive alone. And now it's 16 to 7. We're down by two possessions once again. And look, y'all already know that I'm not too terribly comfortable with passing the football, but we're down by multiple possessions. We got to make something shake here. Or Damian Armstrong Anderson, he's going to go ahead and just take his, himself to the outside. And hey, I'll take that first down. You love to see it. See if we can keep it going here as Derek Niang. He's going to pick up a first down himself. And look at that. We're already across midfield. I like to see it. Is now a couple plays later now second and seven trying to throw quickly to the left hand side we had a man for a second but we just overthrow him and now third and long coming up here I'm liking square on the slant please be open please make this catch and we overthrew him we overthrew him that time you hate to see it and listen we are you know it's fourth down but we're in our territory you know Gonna risk it for the biscuit right here, man. Fourth and seven. Trying to go for it here. And we've hit some pressure. We fumbled the football. And it's gonna be recovered by Upper Florida. So we cough up the ball. It's our second turnover of this game. Oh, man. We are not looking too good out here, ladies and gentlemen. As Upper Florida, I mean, they were going to get the football back anyways, even if we didn't fumble the football there. But, I mean, it just, it hurts from a momentum standpoint, man, as there's going to be almost another catch. Think we were at least able to go ahead and break that one up. But, yeah, we're still down 16-7 to right now. As we go ahead now, see what Fulp can do. Trying to drop back the pass, trying to throw over the middle, and again, jumping too early. I'm reading them. Just playing, you know, NCAA and Madden, it is different from maximum football. And I'm finding that out the hard way here. 
as this lead for Upper Florida just continues to grow right now. We're down 23 to 7. And we just need something right now to spark us here. You know, get us going here in this first half. As this might be something. One more defender. No. We get tackled down. If we got around that corner, man, we was taking that to the crib. Second time. That was like the second time that we almost scored on a kickoff return. Not too shabby, you know, taking that uh, OOM special team's uh, abilities. And we're bringing it over here. The good old South Louisiana. As we got somebody. No one's over on that right-hand side. But we overthrow him. Are you serious right now? Oh, my goodness. We might need to recruit ourselves a new quarterback. We're just... Like, it's one thing if we're just... You know, if we're facing pressure. And, you know, we're out here, you know, not... You know, making those passes. You know, uh, that's one thing because we are facing pressure. But that guy was butt naked open. And we had a queen pocket. We got to make that throw. And because of that, still third and 10 here. We got a long way to go here to pick up this first down. Trying to see if we can get something going here as we find Ross down the right-hand side. He leaks out doing that scramble drill. And look at that. We are in the red zone now. As we have first and 10 coming up, we face pressure. We throw the football. That's almost intercepted, though, trying to hit that slant. But it didn't work out for us. So now second and 10 coming up here. Going to go ahead and try to run the football now as Niang, he gets a good running gap to work with. And that's going to be for a first down. Let's see if we can get our first touchdown from a goal line uh, perspective. Anderson, we're going to throw on third and goal. And we find Tucker in the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Now, I won't go for the two-point conversion. I chose not to do that, but... We do get this ball to start the second half. We're down by nine. Let's go ahead and make something shake, baby. All right, so let's go, man. Second half officially underway. We do get the ball to go ahead and start things out. And they're really low in the box on us right now. But I'm liking what I see. I got square in the corner. Just let me get it over to him. But he drops it. Bro, are you serious right now? That ball was in your hands, my guy. You got to make that catch for me. And, yeah, we're finding out that, you know, we're not, like, the absolute worst team, you know, in this league. But at the same time, like, we're really finding the difference between, like, a 70 overall and an 80 overall squad, right? right? Like, it is actually a really big difference that we have to deal with. But, you know, nothing that we could do about it now. Just trying to go ahead, keep things going as Davy Smalls. Does make another catch for us downfield. It does go for a first down. It's now second and eight coming up here. Couple plays later as we drop back again. And we look at that. We complete two passes in a row. And we get a touchdown too, baby. Let's go, man. First drive of the second half. Ends in points. We do end up going for the extra point. And we are now only down by two points. Let's see if our defense can go ahead and make a stop for us. If we can, uh, you know, stop him from scoring any points on this drive, we can at least make sure that, you know, it stays a one-possession game. But this upper Florida offense certainly has some other ideas right here as we got first and ten to deal with. Is now Falp dropping back, throwing down the middle, and look at that. We get an interception. Let's go, baby. We got a pick. We finally forced a turnover, man. That feels so freaking good. And the momentum is all on our side right now, man. Let's take the lead here. Let's take our first lead in this series. Let's make it happen, Anderson. Throwing over the middle, trying to find a guy. And look at that. Wells somehow coming up with the ball there. He's going to take it all the way as I tried to do that little dive thing. Y'all understand what I was trying to do. I was trying to do that dive thing from like NCAA, you know, that kind of stuff. And it got me down at the one yard line. So that's a little embarrassing, but we do end up scoring on the very next play. So it doesn't hurt us in the long run. That is a little bit embarrassing, a little funny. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you guys, but guys, we actually have a lead right now. You absolutely love to see it. Leading against a power five school, by the way. As Falp's going to run for it once again. This dude is just, he's a mobile guy. And we're finding that out the hard way. It's a first down for the Warriors. 
There's a couple plays later now. Got him to a second and six. He's going to drop back again. And look at this. I... That's supposed to be my zone straight up and down. We do get him out of bounds, but that is a huge gain that we just gave up right there. I was focusing too much on the middle. Had to do a little bit better job in the zone as Upper Florida will end up scoring another touchdown. And they will go ahead and retake the lead. But that being said, they're choosing to go for two so that they can make this a three-point game. And... We get to stop, or at least I fought, but Toleya ends up getting called for the roughing the passer. And that does mean they get a second crack at this thing. This time, twice as close to the goal line. It was half the distance to the goal. As Fulp trying to pass it, but it doesn't work against their defense. We send the blitz at the right time. So even with the penalty, they can't get the two-point conversion. We're only down by one point, so, I mean, we don't need to score a touchdown necessarily, but if we can come away with points on this drive, that would be something else as now. How about this play downfield? But we fumbled the football! Woo! Glad we got the ball back, man. That was a little bit too close for comfort. Usually in maximum football, the defense more often than not gets those fumble recoveries, so I'm glad that we are at least able to go ahead and keep the drive going but yeah that's one thing that i do definitely want to try to address as the season goes on i really you'll want to try and go ahead and work on ball security as look at that that's another fumble speaking of which that's our third fumble loss on in this game alone so we had four total fumbles we've lost three of them and now upper florida has the ball again momentum back on their side and look at this we get a fumble of our own that was what i was trying to do earlier in the game the cpu taking care of business and now we got that football right back man you'll love to see it as we got a first and 10 trying to hit him with a play action here you know trying to take a deep shot with momentum but we got nowhere to throw this football so we actually got to go ahead and scramble we do have a guy but we drop it Oh my goodness, these drops and fumbles. I swear to God, man. It's going to raise my blood pressure. Like, we, we should be up by at least double digits. And look at that. Another missed throw. Guy was open. Just the passing attack just not hitting the same. And we'll probably have to pass this football here once again. Third and 10 coming up as we drop back. Anderson trying to make something happen. Wait a minute. I got a guy, though. Yes, let's go, baby. Tucker in the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Yes, sir, baby. We got that lead. I'm trying to run it in for two so we can make this a nice and even seven-point game. But Cardinal ruled, making an audible too late. I didn't want to use a timeout here. Maybe I should have, but we do get called for the delay of game. And so that's going to back us up five yards. So send the uh, kicker back out once again this time. It's, I mean, it should be an easy extra point, right? I'm hoping, you know, that we can go ahead and at least, you know, get that extra point. But we actually don't put enough on the kick. So we miss the extra point just out here fumbling the bag. So we could have been up by at least six. We don't come away with anything after the touchdown. So... It is still a five-point game. We do have the lead, don't get me wrong, but if Upper Florida does score a touchdown and get the two-point conversion, we could only tie it with a field goal. So little things like that, that could affect us later on. Hopefully not, but we never know, man. We're still playing solid overall. Is now third and three coming up here. Going to hand it off to Brown, and Brown has plenty of space up the field, and he's going to pick himself up another first down. We're going to bring him up to about the 45-yard line. As we get to, looks like the last play of this third quarter. Folk going to throw it once again. Throws it into traffic. We do at least force that incompletion. And let me tell you what. Let's get those fours up going. As we are looking to win the very first game in this series. Can we pull the upset? So let's go, man. Third and 11 coming up here. Fulp trying to drop back the pass. And look at that, man. We go ahead. We get ourselves the incompletion. 
And they're going to punt the football over to us. Now, we'll see what we can do with closing in this fourth quarter. Want to try to at least go ahead and uh, try to be a little bit more run heavy than what I usually am. And as long as it makes sense, like, I'm not going to try to run it with, like, eight, nine people in the box. Speaking of running, Anderson trying to run for his life right now. Almost manages to get to that first down marker. Picks up a gain of eight. Big hit. Don't like to see that, but... Second and two now coming up here. We got Anderson once again. Going to hand it off to Niang. And, you know, had a little bit of trouble finding uh, some running room. But does pick up another first down for us. We can at least get a little bit more time off the clock for now. He's got another first and ten. We're facing some pressure. Trying to throw the out route. But that was just... Oh, that was really ugly. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So, so a third down coming up here. Got to pick up six. If we can't, you know, if there's nobody open, going to try to at least run for it. But we thought we had a man, but it was in so much traffic. That is another incompletion. We did have to give the football off, but Upper Florida did end up going free and out. So, look, we got less than four minutes left in this ball game. Let's see if we can make something shake here as we throw it to the outside. We find Ross again. A huge first down for us. The scramble drill, it's working for us, man. I, I'm not trying to cheese on purpose because, truly, I have not played this game in a little while. You know, like, in terms of, like, actual gameplay. So, like, we're, we're f figuring some things out here on the fly. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But third and long coming up here. Going to try to go ahead and run this football. At least get a little bit of time off the clock as Niang does pick up a little bit of yards. It's not a first down, but it's a little bit of yardage, though. As we will go ahead, try to get this field goal. If we do get this field goal, it will at least make it an eight-point game. Might be a little bit long for him, so I'm going to try to kick it short and see what we can do here. Um, so, yeah, hopefully this works for the best as the kick is going to be up. And, oh, wow, that might have been too low of a kick. Woo, we're, we're, uh, that did not look good whatsoever. That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you guys, but we're still we still have the lead all of the miscues that we have We still have the lead right now We have a chance to win this football game if we can get one more stop on defense Let's see if we can get this job done as fault. He's actually gonna go ahead and scramble out of the pocket There's nobody there to get him and he's still going Oh my goodness, only one person left the beat. He chooses to slide down, but man. That's not what I was trying to accomplish whatsoever. I was trying to help in secondary, make sure we don't get beat deep. And yeah, now uh, they're in the red zone now. So things starting to get real for us here. Trying to throw over in the middle. That is incomplete. So we will get him to a third down. We got third and six. Coming up here. They're going to run with the football here as Brown somehow manages to get out of that and gets the first down. And now it's first and goal. Upper Florida is going to go ahead and take a timeout. That happens to be their final timeout here as well. So now first and goal coming up. Fulp dropping back, looking around, going to throw the right hand side. Okay. Got the incompletion. Let's do that three more times. We will win this football game. Let's go. Second and goal. Let's see if we can force the same thing. Fulp looking around, trying to throw it in the middle and finds Garcia in the end zone. Touchdown, Warriors. And Upper Florida will take the lead. And not only that, they're going to look to get the two-point conversion so that they can make this a three-point game as Fulp. Under a shotgun, going to drop back. He's going to escape the pressure, and wow, he faked this out. I thought he was going to throw the football. Actually got us with the pump fake, bro. And now we're down by three. 121 left to play. Let's see if Damian Arms Anderson can play some hero for us right here. Trying to throw it deep. That is going to be an incomplete pass. So now, second and ten now coming up here. 114 left on the clock. We drop back again. We got somebody open down the middle of the field. Can we make the completion? No! That's also incomplete. We don't put enough on that. So now, third and ten. Going to go five verts. You know, just going to yeet it. 
Anderson looking. He's going to actually escape the pressure and is going to pick up the first down. Nice run by Anderson. We will take our first time out here. So now, first and ten coming up once again. Damian Anderson in the shotgun. We're facing a blitz, trying to throw it over the middle. We are just having a really rough time just completing these passes. Oh, my goodness. So now, second and ten coming up here as we drop back again with Anderson. Going to throw over the middle, and look at that. We actually got a completed pass again. Let's go, man. First down for the Saints. And we don't even have to use a timeout because we did get the first down. Clock is running, though. And there is a timeout that we will have to use. Not even wasting too much time. Just going to call that timeout right away. As now second and 15. We're in a hole here. Trying to throw it short. Davy Small catches it off the deflection. Picks up some yards for us at the very least, but... Want to try to go ahead, save this last time out. We got probably two more shots at the end zone. Looking for a miracle right here, and look at that. Gentry coming down with the football. We'll take our last time out, and we have one shot at the end zone to potentially win this game. We face pressure. We get out of the pocket, and it's incomplete. So the incompletion with three seconds left means that we will go ahead and kick this field goal if we can at least make this field goal we can force overtime at the very least so a big kick for us here try not to rush this one whatsoever and the kick is up it is good so we do end up making the kick and four quarters wasn't enough so what's about to go down first game of the series we're going to take this thing into overtime against a Power 5 opponent. So the Upper Florida Warriors will go ahead and start with the ball here in this first overtime period. Let's take care of business now. We do get him to a third and eight as Fulp is looking around. He's going to try to throw it to the outside. Does connect with Casley, but that being said, Upper Florida going to settle for a field goal. So hang on here, ladies and gentlemen. We have a chance right here as the field goal is good. If we score a touchdown on this next drive, we can win the football game. Let's see what we can do. Starting off first and 10, going to hand off to Niang. He's got some space to work with on the outside, and it's a first down. All right. Love to see it. First and 10. See if we can keep those good vibes going here. As we got second and seven now coming up. Anderson looking over the middle, and it should have been caught. That was the game. We could have won the game right there, but instead, third and seven. I like what I saw in that slam pattern. Going to try it one more time. Going to try to throw it over to the left side, and it's intercepted. And that's how this game is going to end we are going to end up losing this game by a final score of 40 to 37 and i'll tell you what man our passing attack we did get some big plays but 13 for 33 we got to be better than that did do decent on the ground meanwhile looks like upper florida you know wasn't too bad on offense 17 for 32 for 267 yards 30 carries for 175 yards they did win the time possession this feels like a game that we should have won, but I'm I'm happy that we at least played them tough, that we didn't get blown out, you know, in the first game. And, you know, with that being said, you know, that's going to be a nice learning experience when we do eventually go into conference play because the teams in our conference aren't going to be as tough as, you know, the non-conference schedule that we have put together right now. And the sad thing is... Looking ahead to see what we have for the next episode for our next game. We got the Lexington Hawks and this is what they did in their opener. They were on the road as well. They took on the Rustin Grapplers. They tore them apart, man. They won 40 to 3. So that being said, we already know these Lexington Hogs, who are ranked number 15 in the nation. They're going to give us a tough time, man. But you know what? We're going to figure things out on offense. If we can be more efficient with our passing game, I think we can come out on top and win this game. But, 
You know what, that being said, either way, I had a really fun time playing this game. It's been a minute since I played Maximum Football 2020. And if you guys enjoyed it as well, make sure you smash that like button for me. And also, hit subscribe if you have to be brand new to the channel as well. It doesn't cost anything. And of course, you can always unsubscribe if you're not feeling me later. But it does help grow the community that we got going on here. So with that, this is John Chick Gaming on the mic signing off. I'm hoping you're all out there having a good one. Take care, everybody.